Hello everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to a little Minecraft Tech It for 1.5.1. Today we're going to be uh, setting up some wireless access to our ME network. And we're going to go ahead and just to uh, test out the old inputs and outputs of the network, we're going to try to get our fishery connected in, which uh, should be fun will allow me as it stands I've been uh, just running over and collecting the fish but of course we want to um, to make that so they're automatic automatically depositing into our storage network so first things first we want to uh, get a little wireless access set up to uh, do this we're going to need a wireless access point a ME wireless access terminal and then some wireless boosters. Now to make the wireless access terminal you're going to need a wireless receiver that is made with a Fluix Pearl, a stick, and three iron ingots. And we're going to need an ME access terminal which we already know how to make those. Then uh, we're going to need the wireless access point which is made with another wireless receiver, three bits of glass, four iron ingots, and one ME cable. Now the ME cable I didn't really go into in the first episode since our all of our um, all of our network components were all attached directly, but the ME cable is going to be crucial because this is what is going to bring everything into your network. You're going to make it with uh, three flux dust and six pieces of glass will get you three of them. So uh, pretty easy to make all this stuff. Now the reason you need the wireless boosters are the regular wireless access point and wireless access terminal have a range of 16 blocks. Uh, by adding wireless boosters to the wireless access point uh, we can increase that to 32 blocks. You can put 16 of them in there. Now um, that's the default settings. You can change those in the config files, which I'm not going to mess with. I'm just going to stay with the default settings. So let's go ahead and start off by getting getting our uh, wireless access point in place. And there it is. And then we want to put these 16 wireless boosters directly into the wireless access point. So that's going to give us the range of 32 blocks. Now, the wireless X terminal, when you right when you make it, you see uh, it says unlinked. To link that, you're just going to head on over to your ME controller and just drop that wireless access terminal into it. And you see now it says linked. And we are good to go. So now I can be standing over here and just use my ME wireless access terminal and I have access to the network which is awesome and that's going to have a 32 block range. So basically anywhere in uh, within 32 blocks of this wireless access point I'm going to be able to use my terminal. Alright so let's head on over and check out a crucial part of the ME network and that is the ME basic import bus. Now there's a few different kinds of uh, buses. There's import, there's export. There's several different ways to make it happen. As you see, I skipped that part there. I've got ME cable running out of the building now and down underground and I went on and tunneled over and I've got that ME cable running to this point. Now you see um, there's a bit of a Y there. I've got one coming up and that is going to end up going into my uh, quarry sorting facility. The, uh, the other side of this however is coming over and it's popping out just below the water line right there. Now to keep the, um, the surface of your water pristine you need to put that at least uh, two blocks down if not, you'll have a big empty uh, empty spot there as the water, the cable will replace that whole block of water, of course. So, what we want to do is 
as you see, I've got this down to one fishery. The reason being is it's just it's producing plenty of fish, more than I need. And since this is going to be running nonstop now and going directly into the uh, ME network, you see I've got many stacks of cooked fish ready to go. Um, the first step we want to do is get a ME basic outport bus on this chest. And we're going to do it all underneath to uh, try to maintain the cosmetics. You see the fishes going up and in there right now. Now why did that... Uh... Yeah, we only need the one. I don't know why... Uh... Why I had that additional uh, transport pipe there. However, let's get back to the uh, the ME cable. All right, so our ME cable is coming out right here, and we're going to want it to run over to the chest. Now I've already knocked out uh, knocked the block out underneath the the chest here, as you see right there, and that is where our ME import bus is going to go. So we need, uh, f from the ME import bus, we're going to come on down with some cable. And we basically want it to, I'm just going to run straight up and over like so. We want it to run to that corner. So let's just, uh, not making the best use of my cable here, but uh, it's getting the job done. And it is now connected, and it should be uh, connected into the ME network. Let's go up and take a look. That chest should be disappear, or the fishes in the chest should be uh, should be leaving right now and headed directly into the network. Let's see. Yep, as we see, they're uh, dropping out of the chest right now and headed right in. Now I had a bit of an inventory here so uh, rather than moving it manually I connected directly up there but eventually I'll probably just eliminate the chest and be connected directly into uh, maybe even directly into the fishery and having the ME network cook up those fish. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. I don't have any uh, automatic crafting set up on the ME network right now. So that's going to be the start just to get it in. Now we look here as well, we have our wireless access terminal, and uh, we're within that 32 block range, so I can access anything in the terminal right here, and you, as you see our cooked fish are uh, spouting into the network at uh, record speeds, in fact. So now just anytime I need fish, I can just go right up, grab a stack and pull them on out, and that's awesome. Now, um, I do eventually want to get uh, the sorting facility hooked up here as well. I'll probably get that done within the next episode or two. Or I may even do that offline, I'm not certain. But uh, let's take a look at what my, uh, my key came unbind for flight control again. I don't know why that keeps doing that. Let's go ahead and get it bound back because I want to do a little flying around here. Alright, so... Something I want to get done very soon, within the next couple of episodes, is I want to take a advantage of one of the uh, online tools that are available for Minecraft, and that is I want to build a pretty Banff-looking observatory. I mean, since the whole uh, concept of TechIt, even though I haven't gotten a lot of stuff done on the moon or on the space station, is uh, the space program itself, I want to get an observatory in. Now it's going to be pretty large, so I'm going to have to put it away from the buildings just a touch. At first thought, I thought about putting it right here, um, on top of this little plateau where the uh, where the sludge is, but I'm not so sure that is the right place. So I may end up putting it back a little bit farther. In fact, I may um, build up the landscaping a bit back here and putting it like up on a hillside back over here. I've got just massive amounts of dirt sitting in the ME network now, so I should be able to build up build up a nice little hillside somewhere right over here and put that observatory up on top of it. 
not sure what I'm going to put in the bottom of the observatory yet. It will uh, definitely have like a library, and I figured uh, what better to go with the library than maybe a bar. <laughs> not really so sure yet, but there we go. We've got wireless access to our ME terminal. I'm even flying around up here, I can get into my ME network and uh, grab any of the goodies I need. And then we've got our fishery in action, and it is just pumping the fish directly into the ME network. So thanks again for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe. There will be more Minecraft coming soon. I've uh, been playing around with that Hexit mod pack, as everyone knows. And I have also just had the uncontrollable urge to play the Skyblocks adventure map. It looks like so much fun. I'm thinking about giving that a shot as well. But uh, thanks again.